Dear Mrs. President, dear panel, dear colleagues, thank you for putting this topic on the agenda. But I'm not sure if we already understood what it's all about now. None of the states of the European Union is reaching the Paris climate goals. The Agenda 2030, we remember the big commitment of the European Union in 2015 to fulfill the 70 goals. Until now, nothing seriously done. Yesterday, we discussed the cup without one time using the word climate or biodiversity. And beside that all, does anybody remember a moment in the history of politics where up to the leading politicians, the warning of th science is ignored in such a unique way like we realize it today? All the serious professionals made clear that we are strictly running into a 3.5 degree plus scenario, what means that for the end of this century, we should calculate with something like one to three billion of surviving people on this planet. And now we hear that Ursula von der Leyen is willing to put forward an ambitious green deal. Not yet trusting this greenwashed language and frustrated like these millions of Fridays for Future people about last year's climate policies, I have one, perhaps a bit an illusoric last hope. There's a small window opened now to the European Union to do something really magic, to fulfill that what none of the member states until now is able to do, to surprise this planet and to start with the European Union a successful way into a climate neutral, sustainable and at the same time socially elaborated future as an exportable project for the amazed rest of the planet. And as a project where citizens more than ever before could realize the immense quality of this European Union project. I call for all participants in the room to cooperate on this biggest project we discussed here these, discussed here these days. Thank you.